Welcome to the town of Forest Grove. Forest Grove is one street, Perry Street. There are no side streets, there are no parallel streets, just Perry Street. It's a mile long and it's called Forest Grove because there's so many trees. And there is a Forest Grove Fellowship Hall. And there's the rest of Forest Grove. And after a mile long that turns to a gravel roadway down there. And so it's a nice quiet little community out in the country. And almost exactly in the middle of that is 3494 Perry. And there's the house. Except one of the problems is that the trees hide the house. There are three old maples in the front. And last night I met with an arborist and that center maple is going to be taken out. And this maple is going to be trimmed up a little bit so that you can see the house better. Um, like you can't even see the third story with the trees in the way. And coming down the street you hardly notice the house because it's set back just enough. Anyhow, there it is. It's a classic case of arts and crafts um, arts and crafts styling. Here comes a car. That was the evening rush hour. Um, it is what's called the four square class of arts and crafts, which means things like the columns are square all the way up, not tapered like a bungalow style. The house itself is square. It's 36 by 38, so it's not exactly square. Um, there is a carriage roof, what's been called a carriage roof, but I don't think it is, with, uh, we'll see that, a, a porch on the roof of that carriage roof. And then the steps are off of that side because the drive to the house was originally on that side of the house. Now the drive is on this side, and so one of my projects for the summer is to pour some steps off of the center so that people will use the nice double French doored entryway on the main floor. It shows you a little bit of that dormer on the third story and um, that tree there that's coming out which will open things up a lot and allow me to get rid of that horrid ground cover and uh, get rid of the yews that everybody in Michigan plants and uh, have enough light to do some grass and some decent landscaping. There are chairs on the front porch because it has become our custom to have supper out there. Nice place to eat and uh, watch things go by. It's the east side of the house, that porch with its railing. You'll see that from the master bedroom. There are those stairs that I talked about. What are, I think, the original poured cement stairs. And uh, you can see that the place needs painting very badly all the way around. There's lots of wood exposed. Um, the siding is even with the trim on the house. I thought about vinyl siding, but I would have to build out the trim around all the windows and decided that wasn't worth it. So the goal is to take all of the paint off down to bare wood and prime it and put two coats of paint on. There is an entry on each side of the house, another characteristic of Foursquare. Here's the back of the house. Um, and it's hard to get it all in in one shot because it's so big. And up there is another dormer. And at one point in its history, this house was a two unit. And they built that porch above the original back porch and then had steps that came down the side. There's a door right there that I'll show you when we go inside. Um, that thing is just a, a PVC frame and tarp that I built that holds my motorcycle until um, I can get a garage built. And here is the west side of the house. And uh, once again, the paint is very bad. And we've got lots of work to do. I have just started countersinking nails. I don't know if you can see from this shot, but I have just started countersinking nails to make stripping easier. Um, Granite foundation all the way around, back entrance, there's that door that I was talking about up there and the stairs that are now gone. And then here's the door on the west side with what's called the carriage roof. The lot is L-shaped, okay? Comes down here, there's a shed, just a storage shed. Eventually I hope to put a garage 
a two stall garage in here. Back there is the rabbit slash rabbit shed slash chicken coop that I've been building. Follows this fence line along to that corner and then it goes back and uh, let me see, you can't see from this angle, just a minute. Okay, let's try this. There's the shed. There's the rabbit hutch chicken coop under the shade of that mulberry tree. We follow along and there's the fence line that goes back there and across to that birdhouse which is the corner of the lot and then follows up here to this fence and the neighbor's garage and then out along the side of the house. The Malibu lights are going. That's Forest Grove Community, uh, Forest Grove Christian Reformed Church. What would a West Michigan community be without a Christian Reformed Church? There's a uh, electrician and there's a cop and there's um, a storage shed for farm equipment because there's a big field with corn and or soybeans depending on the year. And there's the tree that's coming out. It's Wednesday night, so the faithful are at church. So that's the front of the house. Eventually there will be the steps coming off the center that will come out and then over to the driveway. And then up next to the foundation will be, oh, roadies and azaleas and whatever else, and some grass and some decent landscaping. So I'm going to go up on the front porch and take you into the house as though there were steps there because the front entrance is unused now. Everybody comes in that side, but it really is a very nice entry into the house. So let me go inside and open things up.